Good morning! If you didn't know, it is career day here at Berklee College of Music and just like last year, I'm gonna vlog it. All right, putting on some sunscreen because it's gonna be sunny out there and you should wear sunscreen every day. So this year's keynote speakers are Ash and Phineas. If you don't know who they are, they are singing this song that's playing right now. It's sort of iconic, so I don't know how you don't know what it is. I'm gonna do my makeup and tell you about my day. Today is a Friday, and typically on Fridays I have four classes, all of which I'm skipping today because it's career jam. Unfortunately, career jam is not an excused absence for classes, but I will survive. Career jam at Berkeley is basically a day where Berkeley brings in industry professionals to teach a bunch of master classes, and we just go for free. Last year, the keynote speaker was Donald Glover, AKA Childish Gambino. And this year we have Phineas and Ash. Ash is an incredible artist and of course, Phineas O'Connell. I'm obsessed with the O'Connell, Baird, Eilish, Saluski family. I love them. I watch Claudia's vlogs every time they come out. I'm the biggest fan. So I was very excited when Berkeley announced that he would be one of the keynote speakers. There are a ton of different events happening around campus. A lot of them happen like all at once. So it's unfortunate that it's not possible to go to every single one that you want. You kind of have to prioritize. Oh, I also have a band rehearsal tonight with my band. So you'll come along with that. It's actually our first rehearsal. So I'm very excited. I'm gonna meet one of my friends in line for the keynote. However, before we even go in line, we have to check in. I'm also debating on whether I should get breakfast first. I also am not sure what I'm gonna do in line for almost two hours because last year, my phone ran out of charge so quickly. And unfortunately, I can't bring my camera, the one I'm filming on right now, for like security reasons, like copyright shit. So we can't have my phone running out of charge. So I think I'm gonna bring this dissertation to read. It is the effect of attentional focus on singing, an interdisciplinary model towards the experimental investigation of singing pedagogy. I'm only like 10 pages into it right now. It's really good, but I just haven't had the time to read it. So maybe I'll read it in line. One of my teachers sent it to me because I asked. Makeup is done. Career jam is kind of a special day. So I'm not just gonna wear a regular jeans and t-shirt. I'm, I'm going to like put a little more effort into what I wear. I'm gonna get dressed and I'll see you in a second. Hi, that was a stupid transition and I know that. Anyways, you're sitting in my windowsill. How aesthetic of you, but you can't really see the outfit. So I'm gonna put you here and step back. This is the outfit. In Boston, it's 38 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun. Okay, so what I'm hearing is that it's cold out. At least it's sunny. I'm gonna wear this leather jacket and hope that I survive. For shoes, I'm just gonna wear what I always wear, my Steve Madden combat boots, which I love dearly, these bad boys. And this is the fit. I'm gonna go check in and I will see you. I don't know when I'll see you. It's gonna be a hectic day filled with me trying to fulfill me creatively and further my career. Hopefully, all goes well. I will see you whatever I do. But don't worry. There will be a little recap of everything I learned at the end of the video because we don't gatekeep here. When I was passing to check in, I saw the free headshot station and there's like no line. But last year I went and there was a huge line, so I'm gonna go get free headshots. It is so cold. I just have to remember that I will feel my fingers again. So this is it, that's how it ends I guess there's nothing more romantic than dying with your friends in our no time Help me welcome Ash Join me in welcoming to the stage this magnificent dreamer Phineas You are fresh off of an Oscar I'm a huge fan of Greta, Noah and I, just like all of you, I'd seen all the like photos of them on the beach on rollerblades. <laughs> uh, them being Ryan and Margot. And I was like, I think this is gonna be it. I think this movie's gonna be huge. We're gonna speak to your legendary collaboration, the song Till Forever Falls Apart. Have to know the story of how you met. Phineas and I met in a crosswalk. Um, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> he was leaving the coffee shop that I was headed to. And we like, in the middle, we're like, hey, you're the, what? So, and then we kept moving, and then I think we had a session like two weeks later or something. I only applied to Berkeley, and is that cool? isn't that ridiculous? Oh. I mean, and I didn't know what the 
heck I wanted to do here, I just was like, if I gotta go to college, that's gonna be Berkeley, I guess, and I got in. I didn't know what the heck I wanted to do, I just knew it had to be music, and so I went all the way through, I graduated, and I moved to Nashville, and I told everyone I would never be an artist, but that I would be a great songwriter. Got bored with being so insecure, and then the world opened up. A lot of the confidence that I've had to do things has come from watching other people do them and being like, well, I could do better than that. Yeah, I really credit, I credit a lot of my confidence from observing someone else. And again, I, I gotta give them credit for all their bravery. The thing where the, the crappiest version is exciting to you. Success to me meant not doing something I didn't want to do for a living. This has been, in my opinion, where I'm at right now, the most successful year of my life because I'm getting out of bed in the morning and I can breathe without having a panic attack. That quality about Phineas that he just really is, oh, I hate this word, unapologetic, sorry, but just like, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, oh. It is good to, uh, it's good to learn to lose and, and not feel like you've lost. I am learning. Yeah. Rule number one, never think you have it figured out. It's just a lot, and the world is louder than you. Sort of similar to like, you see some mannequin wearing a cool outfit, and you go try it on, and you're like, well... <laughs> yeah, we finished Billy's new album. Yeah! There's a sniper up in the balcony, and if I <laughs> say more, I'll be executed. Perfectly. Like, write about your divorce, that got me somewhere. Or don't get married and divorced. Maybe that's terrible. <laughs> experiences and see what shows up and have fun. She goes and gets a divorce and the <laughs> and I we get coffee and she goes, Yeah, I've been writing a bunch. Do you want to hear some of it? And we sit in my car and she plays me more of the story. What is the Kim Kardashian code? Uh -huh. it's a it's quote? Like a People just don't have work anymore. <laughs> what all boats rise together with rising tides? I don't know. I'm gonna stop talking now. Anyways, great art rises when he said K bye. How convenient I went to this school. <laughs> How was the focus on health and mental wellness? <laughs> it was like, if you graduate, you're not gonna make it. Yeah. I probably shouldn't say that, but it's not, it's not real! Hello. It's 5.06 and I am so hungry I've not eaten all day. I woke up and went straight to get in line for Ash and Phineas. Here I am on my way back. I picked up some sushi. While I eat it, I'm going to basically tell you all the notes that I took during the panels that I went to. I took a bunch of notes. Phineas said, sometimes to create something, you have to look away to create something else. If you're in a room with a person who has stories you want to hear, ask them about those stories. I also got this Olipop probiotic drink. Expensive addiction. Ash said, I got bored of being insecure and then the world opened up. Phineas also talked about how when he's in a writing room or a session, he'll try and fill the empty space, whatever that was. If you have confidence in yourself, you have enough confidence to just sit back and say, hey, that's a great idea. He also said that you should pick a profession where every shitty step is just awesome to you. Both of them also talked about the value of collaboration and they said it's very hard to do anything alone. It's very hard to succeed alone. Being an artist has less to do with what you put out into the world and more to do with how you walk through the world. I went to another panel called Notes of Excellence, Inspiring Success in Music Education. I don't know if y'all are into that, so I'm not gonna read it all. And the last panel I went to was called Bursting the Berkeley Bubble. Those were all of my notes from the panels that I went to today. I actually have to go to band rehearsal in a half an hour. I'll see you then, and I'm totally gonna change. Hi. I have clearly changed into a tank top, some sweatpants, and Crocs. Should we do a little what I'm what's what I'm bringing in my what's in my rehearsal what bag slash what I'm bringing to rehearsal XLR cord, a microphone, a hair clip, and my producer slash guitarist slash partner in crime slash soulmate needed a capo, so I'm bringing them a capo. My friend Ren is going to meet me outside of my apartment in like two seconds to go over to rehearsal with me because we're going together. And yeah, I'll see you at rehearsal. I'm here with the band at rehearsal. Can we introduce ourselves, band? Who are you? Ren. Who are you? Soul. Who are you? Loon. Who are you? Caroline. Now we're going to try and make music. Uh, should I count it off in three, four, six, eight? What did I write the chart in? <laughs> Do 
we all know what changes at G. Two, two. Yeah, this repeat does not happen. I don't think yeah, it does. No, it does not. But are we playing like 16 measures or are we playing more? I was just saying we could just run straight into it from the top. I'm joking. <laughs> I know. I wish I was filming, I was still filming you when you said that. It's okay. Yeah, sorry. Then, I appreciate it. I was gonna say, I love your Les Paul. Thank it's you. super oh. sharp. Where are the, 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 um, the, um, first chorus. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, just like do it just like two chords. Do, do, do. Um, while we were vocal tracking, Olivia would like relentlessly do that into her microphone. You made a commitment, made and I respect you for sticking to it. Uh, let's talk about that for a second. What? Troubleshoot from there. Yes. Like, How's your guys day been? Pretty lucky. No. I had my only class today canceled, mm -hmm. so I slept. The... Yeah, you did. It's good. good. She's <laughs> But that's peak vibes though. Oh, I have a fun game that we can play. Let's play Innocence from the Top and you two just come in when you come in. Hey, listen, I listen to this. I know when I come in. Heck yeah, you do. Don't worry. I come in I can't say how good they'll be, but They're like, multi you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. It's not the fucking coffee. It's the cop. We'll talk later. The amp in your phone said... No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where are we oh. going from? Sick. I'll give it. A little funny piece of information. The only reason I've been writing credit on that song is because of the very last sentence. And their name shows up first. The camera heard it. Berlin, 1989. Oh my god. And, so, and then someone's like, oh, that's what Taylor Swift is. <laughs> <laughs> are you getting kind of sick of me? I promise I shower. Interestingly, yeah. not what I was worried about. We had gag names for all of the songs. We're gonna piss off all the John Mayer fans. Get in frame. How many you adjust the frames that I'm in it? I look around in the center, just how I like it. <laughs> you know, that was less shit than I thought. Alright, band rehearsal is done, and Alexa, time? The time is 8.11 p.m. It's 8.11, I'm probably gonna write a song, but that concludes Career Jam 2024. I know, band rehearsal was so much fun. I love all of my friends and everyone in my band. I don't know, I just feel so grateful to have them in my life and be able to see them every week and play music with them every week. They're such special people to me. And coming to Berkeley and having all of these opportunities to be able to go to these panels is just great. So, um, 10 out of 10 would recommend, but I will see y'all in the next one. Bye!